Welcome back or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I am back with another video. Here with the video that y'all all have been asking for on TikTok. If you did not see it, my TikTok is Alyssa.Jalice. I posted my commercial that I made for the restock of my lip glosses. I know the YouTube girls have been asking for it. It's been long overdue, but hopefully it was worth the wait because y'all see the time I put into it. Like I really want the quality to be so good when I drop these lip glosses this time. Like the formula is still the same. I just wanted the packaging and everything to be different because if we gonna be honest, my last packaging was trash and y'all wrong for not telling me. <laughs> But yeah, the TikTok went crazy. Like the TikTok girls were going crazy when I posted my commercial and I did not expect that for real. Like thank y'all so much for the response on that video. Like I don't think I've, I've never gotten that type of response on anything that I've ever posted. And I've been doing social media for a few years now. So yeah, I've never gotten that type of response on anything that I posted. And I was like, what? Like I was just so happy when I saw all the comments and everything. And like, I don't know, it's just really nice to see people like appreciate your work. Like I put so much time and effort into my content and I literally had a meltdown like two weeks ago. I kid you not, like two weeks ago, I had a meltdown because I just felt like I'm never seen and I feel like I have so much to offer and I feel like I'm really good at a lot of different let me tie my hair up y'all because my hair looks a mess like I gotta get it redone if you haven't seen my silk press video it's right here I haven't got my hair done since then but it really looks a mess everything's puffy the roots but I'm getting it done um the day before Valentine's Day so but we're not here for that so don't don't pay attention to that don't look too hard I'ma just I'm finna tie it up but yeah I just like I had a meltdown because I just was tired of feeling like unseen. And I get this comment all the time that like how slept on that I am. And like not like being biased or anything just because it's me. It's just I truly agree with that. Like I feel like I have a lot to offer and I feel like, you know, I put a lot of effort into my stuff and I try and make sure my content is, you know, pretty good. It's also a lot of different things that I'm good at. Like I have several different talents and you know, I try and showcase them all, but you know, everybody like talk about sticking to one niche and I just don't like that. And you know, I just got tired of, you know, just being the wig girl, like, you know what I'm saying? If you've been on my channel, you've been subscribed. A lot of people came to my channel because I did wig videos and I had that Shein video blow up. I did a lot of cheap Amazon wig videos. I do human hair wig videos, like lace wigs. And you know, that's not what I started my channel for. Like, yes, that I love doing wigs and all that, but like, I didn't start my channel to be a wig girl. Like, I didn't want to just do wigs. When I started my channel, I was doing makeup, haul, Y'all know I be coming through with the hauls. Y'all just be sleep for real. I did obviously hair. I did a couple sewing videos. I can sew. I'm telling y'all I have a lot of different talents. And it's kind of overwhelming to deal with sometimes because like I don't know what to do with it. Like I don't know. It's just hard to focus on just one thing when I have so many things that I like to. You know styling outfits. I feel like I'm pretty good at that. You know I be coming through with the fits. Like I said I've been doing makeup for some years now. I can do my own hair. I really do my own everything for real. Like I do my own nails. I do press songs like i said i sew i did a couple sewing videos when i first started my channel and i also was doing vlogs well i had like one or two travel vlogs i think but you know that was also something i wanted to do when i started my channel and i try to make sure the quality of my vlogs are really good as well if y'all saw the hawaii vlog y'all saw the drone footage and the gopro footage what else? I cook, I bake, obviously edit. That was my first time ever making a commercial. That was my first time doing anything like that ever. I've never done nothing like that before. So, you know, obviously I have a lot of different things that, you know, I dibble and dabble in. Editing, even my Instagram pictures. And yeah, I just had a meltdown because, like I said, I just felt like I wasn't seen. I, I, like, I got really tired of not being seen or people not appreciating my other talents. When, like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not just a wig girl. Like, you know, like, I'm not just the girl that do wigs and everything like that. And also people subscribe to people for different things. But like I said, I didn't start my channel for that. And, like, you can go back and see that, you know, my first videos were not wig videos. Like, I was doing a lot of different stuff. So, like I said, I have a lot of different talents and I just really wanted to somewhere to showcase all my talents. I didn't want to just do wigs. I know my channel grew a lot from doing wigs, but like I said, I don't want to be a wig girl. I don't want to just do wigs. Like I don't want my content to be just wigs. Like I have so much other stuff to offer. And I like I said, that's why I had my meltdown because I was just really tired of that. Yes, I love doing wigs, but I don't want to do that all the time. I don't want that to be every video or even every other video. Like I just don't. I I want to do some of everything like all the beauty type of stuff I was doing when I first started like makeup hauls all of that type of stuff sewing you know 
So yeah, the response on that video was just a breath of fresh air because like I said, when I had that meltdown a couple weeks ago, it, it was bad y'all, like ugly crying, all of that. So to see that type of response and it's not a wig video and like people really appreciating like the effort that I put into it and like recognizing, you know, my talents. It's like, it's just so refreshing to see that. So thank y'all so much for the response that y'all gave me on that video. Like y'all are so sweet. I'm trying to respond to all the comments or at least the majority of them. I really like I cannot catch up is how many people are commenting on that video. Everybody's being so nice and like just wish me the best with my business and like everything like that. And it's just yeah, that really made my whole year for real. Like the comments that y'all left on that video just made my whole year for real cause I've been going through it as far as content creating and trying to be a content creator and all that. It's not easy, like it's not easy. Yeah, again, I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry for the ramble at the beginning. I could put a timestamp cause I know some of y'all probably don't care for real and I know what y'all here for anyway, if you want to skip. So yeah, but I just wanted to say thank you before I do anything because if I wasn't gonna do anything, it was gonna be that. So thank y'all so much again for y'all comments. Thank y'all to those you who ordered lip glosses if you haven't ordered i suggest you do that like i said my youtube girls can vouch if anybody's ordered lip gloss from me before they can vouch the formula top tier like super moisturizing i kid you not like guarantee and if you have bought one before let me let me give you this little tip when you do your skincare or whatever at night put the lip gloss on before you go to sleep and let me know how your lips feel when you wake up just just try it just try it and let me know don't say i ain't never tell you nothing but yeah if you haven't shopped go shop whoshebeauty.com just restock the lip glosses i don't think i I ever have another moment where lip glosses are out of stock for that long like I said I just wanted this relaunch and the restock of these lip glosses to be like perfect so yeah and if you watch vlogmas then I showed y'all how I clean my tubes and filling up my tubes so yeah oh I didn't mention this either Talitha Jane commented on my TikTok like I was scrolling through my notifications and I just happened to see like the name like when I was reading the comments before I was really just reading them not really paying attention to the usernames but I just happened to see her name and I was like I swear, I kid you not, I swear my eyeballs popped out of my head and fell on the floor. Like, I know that, I just know that's not her. Y'all, I love Talitha. Like, I found her channel like a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And I just subscribed immediately, follow her on Instagram. Like, I love her videos. I started following her when I was trying to up my Instagram content game. I bought both of her, um, what's it called? I bought both of her social media, um, things. What are they called? Social media success and her how to make money on social media thing. Even though I was already making money on social media when I found her, but like I said, I was trying to up my game and she had a lot of good tips. Yeah, I immediately follow her. I did her very first class that she did like some months back. The first class that she did, her social media class. I did that. I wasn't able to go in person, but she did have an option where you could join on Zoom. So I was there for the first one. So that meant everything to me when she commented. I was like, Ah! Like not to leave the comment on my TikTok, please. Like Talitha Jane knows me. Talitha Jane knows me now. Like yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I was so excited when I saw that. I really saw that. It was like four or five in the morning when I saw it, and I was like, no way. That no way. Like that. That does not say that. It does not say that. But it most definitely said that. I was like, she commented on my TikTok. She liked my TikTok. Talitha, Talitha Jane. I talked to like the people close to me. I talked to them about her all the time when I found her channel. So when I saw her comment, I literally had to tell them so fast. I was like, Talitha comment on my TikTok. Talitha, Talitha Jane comment on my TikTok. Talitha is on my TikTok. Shook, but yeah, love you girl. And Talitha been doing her thing too. I've been seeing you girl, okay? Dr. Phil show, I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting for the episode. And I saw that she was at um Diera's Lorve Sweetheart Collection brunch, I think. The most recent drop she had for her sunglasses and I know Talitha loves her some era D. So I know that was a really big moment for her. So congratulations, girl. I, I see you. I've been seeing you. Okay, I'm finna shut up. I, I know y'all tired of me talking. I know why you're here. Let's get into it. I'm sorry. I just had to get it out of the way. Let's go. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know, stay a little while. Like I said, I have a lot more to offer. I have a lot of different talents. I just want to showcase and show the world. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. Stay a while. Class is in session. Let's go. I'm going to walk y'all through every step. I'm going to show y'all exactly how I did the commercial. I know some of y'all were asking for like a mini tutorial on TikTok, but you know, you only get three minutes on TikTok and I just really wanted to go in depth and really make sure I explain everything so y'all can do it yourselves because you don't have to pay nobody to do stuff all the time. Do stuff yourself. I promise you, you can do it. I do everything myself. So I'd rather do it that way anyway, because if somebody do it and they mess it up, I'm going to be mad. Or if it's not how I want it or how I envisioned it. I'll be upset so i'd rather just do stuff myself anyway but yeah okay y'all let's get into the video i'm gonna take y'all to the living room where i did this whole production and made a freaking mess in there throwing fruit and water all over the living room so yeah let's go okay let me show y'all the setup 
first. My tripod for my phone, like I said, I did everything on my phone. If you watch TikTok, everything. Everything was done on my phone and everything was done on one app. On CapCut, my ring light here, my newer ring lights from Amazon. Everything equipment wise is from Amazon. So this, the tripod right here is from Amazon. And then my backdrop stand right here is also from Amazon. I just needed one of the poles it comes with four poles so you can make it wider. I made it one for this obviously because you know the poster board is only this wide so you know yeah and the clips come with the backdrop stand as well. I got the poster board from Hobby Lobby. Don't mind it y'all I know it looks a mess. It's the same one that I use when I film mine so it's got hot chocolate stains on it because when I did the shot with the chocolate yeah it got all over the thing so don't mind that not too much not too much of my poster board. Yeah so this is like the whole setup this is everything that I needed right here and of course my phone will go in here so I'm going to show y'all that. We're going to start with the first shot which was me slicing and like throwing the fruit in the air. So I'm gonna show y'all how I did that part first. Let me move y'all over here to my table. So this is where I had all my fruit over here. Obviously each fruit was for, you know, the scent of the lip gloss. So yeah, I had all my fruit over here, my knife, cutting board. I used toothpicks. I'll show y'all what I use this for in a minute. And I just kept a wet rag over here. Cause you know, it got a little sticky in here. Also, I had a towel over here on the floor because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. It's going to get messy. Like I said, you're going to be throwing fruit and water all over the place. So I put a towel right here. Of course, you could do this outside, but it's cold. When I filmed my commercial, it was too cold to be outside. So, you know, I, I wasn't going for that. It'll work inside. Just put some towels down to make the mess easy to clean up. But yeah, this is everything I use. And then, of course, I had some water. So I'm going to just demonstrate this with one of the flavors, which strawberry kiwi. So I have strawberries and kiwi, obviously. You know, I'm not going to do all of them. Plus, I I don't even have all the other fruits anyway. This is all I have left. Except the watermelon, I do have that. I just picked out a few of these. And I think I'm gonna use one kiwi, maybe two. I think I used two for the shot. You wanna make sure you have like enough so the shot looks nice. You know, you don't wanna have too little fruit or whatever food you're throwing around. But yeah, and I also want to leave the green on the strawberries as well, just, you know, for some color. I know the kiwi is green too, but you know, I want the green to still be on the strawberries. So I just cut one in half, left the green on a few of them and I just cut it into like a few slices and just put it over here in the bowl. And then I alternate between the fruits as well. So like, you know, I do a few strawberries and then I do a few kiwis. So that way when I toss it, you know, you get an equal amount of each fruit flying everywhere, you know? Okay, so here's our bowl of fruits. I'm gonna leave this here right now. We're gonna start with the first shot, which is me like cutting the fruit or slicing it. I didn't actually slice it. I'm gonna show y'all what I did. So I'm just gonna take another one of these. Well, I really can take one of these out of here, but I already cut pretty thick like this. So I'll just take one of these and I'm just gonna take another strawberry, cut it in half and leave some of the green on it just so it's cute and this is what i use the toothpicks for for this shot but i took the strawberry and stuck the toothpick through here like this and then stuck the kiwi right here but not all the way through because i don't want you to see the toothpick on the other side so now let me show y'all the slicing shot and i got my big hefty knife right here i want you a good size knife all right so for this scene where I'm chopping the fruit, chopping, I'm recording on here. I'm recording on my phone, like I said. I'm gonna put it on the side of the screen so y'all can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But I got my fruit right here on the toothpick and I'm just putting it in frame. And I got it pretty close to the screen so you don't see my fingers holding the toothpick. So you have it right here. And you're just gonna take your knife and do this little motion behind it. So it makes it look like you're chopping it, but you're not. And I'll put, you know, the example of mine in case y'all missed it, because I know it was going by pretty fast in the commercial, so I don't know if y'all caught it or not, but yeah. So that's all you're doing for this part. You're not actually chopping anything. You just hold it here. And if you have extra hands to hold stuff for you or anything that works too, but you really can do all this on your own. I did have my sister come in here and wave the knife for me just so I could be a little more still trying to hold the fruit in frame after i was on like the third fruit i had her come in here and do it because i was tired of doing both of these myself yeah but that's all you're doing so you just have it like this try and be still with the fruit in your hand and that's it just this motion right here you can do it a few times if you need to make sure you got a good one so that's all you're doing for that shot now i just recorded that in regular speed but everything else that we're filming will be filmed in slow-mo film in slow-mo for everything else film in 1x speed for your chopping shots everything else in slow-mo okay it just looks better that way it comes out better filming it in slow-mo let me let me get in frame and talk to y'all it just comes out better that way filming in slow-mo rather than filming regular and then slowing down the video when you edit it because it just makes it like laggy and it doesn't look as clean so film in slow-mo you could always speed it up um i think speeding up to 4x puts it back in regular speed yeah the chopping shot i filmed regular video now we're going to switch to slow-mo because we're about to do this shot here 
So I have my fruit and I added the water to the bowl. Put enough in there to toss around, get a good little splash in the shot. Like I said, it's gonna get messy, so make sure you have your towel down unless you're doing it outside, then it's fine. And this shot may take you a few tries. You know, make sure you got a good one, like a good toss. And that's okay, you know, just pick the fruit up off the floor, put it back in the bowl, put some more water in there, try again. Cause I know I had to do that a few times. Yeah. So we're in slow-mo now. Every, everything else is in slow-mo, like I said. So let me back y'all up so y'all can see. And also with this, when I did these clips of me throwing the fruit, I edited them as I went just to make sure it looked good before I moved on to the next fruit, which didn't take long at all. It took like maybe five minutes to edit it in, putting it together and making sure that it flows well, you know, with the chop and the toss and make sure the toss looked nice and, you know, enough of the fruit was in frame, everything like that. So I was editing that part as I was filming and then I move on to the next fruit just to make sure, like I said, make sure everything looked nice. So yeah, okay. I just got right here behind, y'all can't even see me, can you? So yeah, I got right here behind the ring light and the tripod like centered with it so I could get like a nice toss in front of it. So hopefully I can see what I'm doing a little better. I know the light is a little wonky right now because of the ring light. So we're in slow-mo. Recording in slow-mo and you're just gonna take your fruit and make sure it's in focus. So I put it in frame like this and like tap the screen just to make sure it's focusing on the fruit when I throw it. So you might mess up the first time, that's okay. But you can do a few practice motions like this just to make sure you're in frame when you do toss. You know, just a few of these and you get ready to toss. One, two, three. <laughs> like that so um i don't know if that was a good shot i'm gonna look at it and see i think it was so i don't think i have to redo it but that's what you're doing basically you want to make sure you get a nice little toss try and get a little high but not too high to where it's out of frame but high enough to where you get a good toss in frame so and not too much of the bowl showing as well but we are going to zoom in so we can cut out whatever so it's fine but yeah so that's how i film the shot like this now i'm going to show y'all what it looks like we start editing it okay so i'm gonna put um my screen over here so y'all can see me editing so i'm gonna open cap cut and start a new project we're gonna take the clips that we just recorded and add those in so i'm just going to select one of these shots from my slicing shot so i'm just gonna trim it down to where i think you know was a good shot for the slicing one so i feel like that was you know a pretty decent one right there and i started where the knife is right here at the top of the screen and i'm gonna stop it when it's at the bottom of the screen so i'm gonna stop right there and then you can just delete the rest of that now we're going to add in our slow mo part the quad's gonna look better we're gonna edit the lighting and all that so yeah don't mind that it looks a little dull right now so i feel like this was a good part right here i'm gonna zoom in so i'm gonna start it right here so i can crop the bowl out and then and stop it where they fall and you can delete everything else so now i'm gonna go ahead and just turn the volume down on these clips because you know obviously you don't need any sound on it you see how it already looks good so you got your chopping shot where you start with the knife is at the top of the screen and then ends where the knife is at the bottom of the screen and then it goes into the next clip with your fruit toss and it's already in slow-mo now i'm gonna fix the framing a little bit so go to edit right here and crop it i'm just gonna zoom this in a little more and now i'm gonna do the same thing with this one so i can crop the bowl out so i'm gonna crop this one just kind of zoom in pretty close on the fruit like this i think that might be low enough okay i kind of need to shift it over some because it kind of got out of frame right here just slide it over this way so like that and then I just go to adjust and obviously I brightened it. You can, you know, just to make the quality look better, sharpen, you know, obviously turn up the saturation to bring out those colors, highlights. You can just play around with it. Just get it to where you like it. Just play around with it. And then I'm gonna try and make sure I got the same edits on the other one. So my brightness is at 18, saturation is at 25, sharpen was at 33, highlight. What did I even just say? Now I don't even remember what I said. 21. Yeah, so then is the bowl still in that shot. Yeah, so I'm gonna crop that out right there. You can still see the bowl a little bit when the clip first starts. I'm just gonna trim it instead of cropping it because I don't want to zoom it in any further. And I also recorded on a white background because I knew that I wanted the background of my commercial to be white. So I didn't like like green screen record or anything and then put it on a solid background. I just recorded with a white background because that was the color that I wanted. But yeah, so that's how I did this part. That's what you should look like right now. So you're just gonna do that with each fruit or whatever food that you're using, whatever flavors that are in whatever you're using, whatever's in your product. And that's what it should look like. So I'm 
gonna go ahead and add in my other fruits. I'm just gonna use the footage that I used when I shot my commercial. I just recorded this one to demonstrate for y'all instead of having to record every single fruit. So let me go ahead and add those in and then I'll be back to show y'all the transitions. And then we can get into me adding the product into the video. Like I had my lip gloss coming up as if I was throwing it with the fruit. So we'll get into that after this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've added in my other clips. This is what it looks like right now. And for the chocolate one, y'all can see, obviously that's not water. I used hot chocolate in this shot. I had to work real fast because the chocolate was starting to melt. I could've just waited for it to cool or sit in the refrigerator, but it was four o'clock in the morning when I filmed my commercial or going on four o'clock when I got to this point and chocolate was the last one that I filmed. I wasn't finna wait for the hot chocolate to cool off, so I had to do it fast. So yeah, that's how I got it. Like, you know, it looks like liquid chocolate, but it was hot chocolate in the bowl instead of water like I did with the fruit. So if you wanna do something like that, you could probably do that, say with milk maybe, and then add food coloring, make it whatever color that you want the liquid to be. I'm sure that'll work as well. This is where we're at. So for the transitions, CapCut got some five transitions. So I went under movement and I alternated between bottom right, right here, which is this one, all the way at the end, and the down one, which is right here. So I alternated between bottom right and down. So I started with bottom right, so now it looks like this. So I chose those transitions because obviously the fruit is falling down, so my transition needs to come down. So boom, and the next one, like I said, I alternated between the two, so now I'm gonna do down for this one, just so it doesn't all look the same, so. It goes right into the next clip, right into the next chop. So boom, then it goes into the watermelon one. We're back to the down transition. And then that was my last shot. So this part is the easiest part to edit and the fastest part to edit. Like this took me, what? Probably took me 20 minutes to put all these together and just add in the transition. All right, and then here is the results of everything that we did. Once you've added in all your chopping and tossing shots and transitions, I showed y'all the transitions I use. It should look like this now. Very nice, very nice. Of course, you can adjust the saturation and all that, like I said, to make your colors pop. Just play around with those and get it to your liking. But yeah, that is how I did the chopping and tossing shots. Now I'm gonna show y'all how I did the shots for me adding in my lip gloss as if I tossed it with the fruit as well. So back to the living room. I feel like I'm doing a horrible job at explaining this. Hopefully it's making sense. If it's not, then y'all can let me know. Y'all can ask whatever questions y'all need to ask. But yeah. Okay, so for this shot, I literally just took one of my lip glosses. And I've seen people do shots like this, but they had like skewers, but I just felt like skewers were too thin for my lip gloss tubes. And I felt like my lip gloss tubes were too heavy for the skewers as well. So I literally got a wooden spoon at the kitchen. The base on this is wider and it's enough to hold my lip gloss up. So what I did, hot glue. So I just took some hot glue on the top of the wooden spoon and it, it didn't mess up my packaging at all, by the way, if anybody was concerned. But yeah, I just glued it to the bottom of my tube. And boom. So now we can do a little shot with the lip gloss. Let me set my phone up so I can show y'all how I did that. Okay, so again, we're recording in slow-mo and I can get a little bit closer up on here. So for this shot, again, we're in slow-mo. So I just have my spoon right here and I'm gonna focus it on my lip gloss and lock it right here. And I'm just rotating it like this. And I do like a pretty quick motion. It is a slow-mo so you can do like a quick spin like that. And that's all I did for this shot. So just a quick spin. I really wanted a shot to where I got the front of my tube with the logo on it. You know, like a good shot that. Just holding the spoon in my hand and doing a quick little twist. Try and keep it smooth so it looks smooth when it's in slow-mo. And yeah, that is all I did for this shot. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I edited these shots into the fruit toss shots. So let's go. Okay, so we're going back into cap cut. I'm going to go to right where the clip starts, where I toss the fruit, cause I want it to come in right there. So I want to come in right here where the fruit goes up. So you're gonna hit overlay, add overlay, and we're gonna add in 
what we just recorded. And again, you just trim it down to where you feel like you got a good little shot, like a good little rotation. So I feel like that was a good shot right here. So I'm just gonna take this clip here. I'm gonna leave a little bit extra at the beginning of the clip. So I'm not gonna trim it all the way to exactly where I want this clip to start. We will do that eventually. But right now we're gonna leave a little bit of time before where you want it to start. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. So anyway, so we're gonna click on it and we're gonna go to cut out. I'm gonna hit customize cut out and we're going to cut out the product. So you're gonna overline it. I found that that was the easiest thing for me to do. That was the reason that I was about to pull my hair out over this commercial is because I was trying to do frame by frame cutouts, which was taking hours to do for one gloss and I have five. So what I learned to do for this is to leave a little bit of extra time before the point where you want it to actually start and overline the product. So, and you can adjust your brush size right here, but I'm just gonna zoom in just to make it easier. And I'm, like I said, I'm overlining the lip gloss instead of lining it exactly with the lip gloss. So like this, except for when I get right here, I'm gonna try not to get so much of this sticking like that and then just fill it in the rest of the way and the reason why i say to overline it is because it will actually automatically correct itself to fit to the product like it focuses on the product basically so you overline a few seconds before where you want your clip to start and then by the time it gets to where you want it to start, it's already corrected itself to fit to your product, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that, I'm so sorry, but yeah. But you know, you just drag it to check to make sure it worked. So you see how if this would look like and it's gonna slowly correct itself basically. Now see, I think I overlined a little too far over there because you can see some of the background. So you know, all you gotta do is go back, hit undo and just do it again. You probably have to play with this a few times before you get it right and it corrects exactly to your product, but that's okay. Take your time with it. You know, you want it to look good, you gotta take your time. So, okay, see now that looks a little better. For the most part, it corrected to the, to the gloss. You see why I say to start your cutout before the point where you actually want the clip to start. By the time it corrects, see now it's here and now by the time it starts spinning it's corrected to the shape of my tube yeah that's how i did this part it's time consuming y'all it is time consuming but that's okay y'all saw the results and i don't know if it's any easier way to do something like this like remove a background whatever the case may be but i didn't have time to be figuring all that out or like you know it's probably some app that you had to pay 500 dollars for that does that and I wasn't gonna do all that. So I was just trying to work with what I had and you know, use what I knew. So, you know, I tried this on CapCut and it, you know, it worked for me for the most part. So yeah, but if there's an easier way to do this, feel free to let everybody know in the comments that, you know, I wasn't trying to find no app that I had to pay for that effect. And you know, I'm working with what I got, something that's free, CapCut is free. But like I said, if there's an easier way, please let us know because I promise you, this stressed me out for real. I also like um, doing the overlining thing and then letting it correct itself because when you try and like go back and erase or like draw it perfectly, you see those like jagged looking edges around the outside from where I, when I overlined from me drawing, you can see those jagged edges when it cuts it out. If you if you try and cut it perfectly yourself, you can see those edges. If you let it correct itself, it'll be smooth. So another little tip. Okay. So anyway, you get the point. Once you get that corrected as best as you can, as perfect as you can get it, now you're gonna click on your cutout and you're gonna add animation to that. So you're gonna click animation and for the end animation, I did slide up. That's what I did, slide up because you know, obviously the fruit was tossed up. So I did the slide up animation coming in so that's how the animation should look coming in. And you can adjust how fast that comes in or how slow that comes in. So I think I'm gonna drag it down to a point four, maybe. And then for the out, obviously you would do slide down because the fruit's falling down. And the next transition is down as well. So everything blends. And because it's longer than the clip, the strawberry kiwi clip 
I'm going to just trim it down to where that clip kind of ends. So right here. Okay, so I don't know why it's not letting me add both. It should let me add both. Uh, maybe the clip's not long enough. I guess what I have to do is, let me see, animation in. So like I said, slide up for animation in. And we'll bring that to like a point, point two. Actually, make that a point three. And then I'll just split it right here and then do the animation out on this clip. Cause I don't know why it's not letting me do both on the same clip. So slide down like that. So it should go down. Let me drag that down to like a point two. And it should go down with the fruit and into the next transition. So like that. I know that was kind of fast. This clip was kind of fast. And then it should look like this. So boom, chop, toss, down, next clip. So that's how I did the editing in the product into the clip. Like I said, that part can get really frustrating. Like I said, you're gonna have to play with that, the cutout to get it to fit to your product because you know, you still want it to look clean. Like I said, if there is an easier way to do that, please let us know below. Preferably not a super expensive way okay if if anybody knows let us know but that is how i did that part yeah so that's what it should look like when your product comes in goes back out and of course you can play with the size of the product so like obviously if i don't want it to be this big like obviously you can tap on it and make it smaller you can also rotate it so you know all your products aren't always facing one direction like you could obviously you could film holding it in one direction but you know you could tilt it so you know you have that variety of angles of your product. So you could tilt it this way, you could tilt it that way. You can make it smaller if you don't want it as big on the screen. But you know, do that before you cut it down like I did right here, cause then you're gonna have to make it match. And that's just too much. Cause I probably can't even make it match. Let me see if I can. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good match right there. Yeah, so if you wanna do it like that, and have it come in tilted different ways and of course making it smaller you don't see all them little imperfections as much as you did before i just noticed so yeah boom so now we're gonna do the last clip i did which was the group shot of all my glosses um when it was rotating and the background was all the clips from the fruit toss so yeah so now i'm gonna explain to y'all how i did that part i really hope all this is making sense because i am lost myself listening to myself but i hope i hope y'all are keeping up so let me go ahead and put in because i'm not finna edit in all these other glosses so i'm just gonna go ahead and just put my commercial like my original in and we'll just start at the part for the group shot with all of my glosses so yeah so the first thing is the background of that shot which looked like this so i ended up having to do that in a separate like make a whole separate project in CapCut for this because for some reason me layering this many clips in one project was like making it lag so we're just gonna start a new project and we're just gonna put in all the clips so i'm gonna start with obviously the strawberry kiwi one was first so i'm just gonna trim it down like that and then what I did was edit and crop it and made it, you know, like this wide. Boom, and it looks like that. And I dragged it all the way over to the left. And then you go to overlay, add in your next fruit. So that was this one. Click overlay, so it'll put that in the bottom. Then insert your next fruit. So that was the pineapple one. And you may have to slow some of these clips down as well because you need, obviously you need it to last the amount of time that the products are on the screen. Then overlay again. Then this was the peach one. So I'm gonna do this one, trim this down. Obviously these all need to be playing at the same time. So make sure they're starting at the same time. And then I can drag this one over here. And the same thing with this one. One more time. For my last product, obviously you would only do this the amount of times of products that you have. So if you only have three products or three flavors or whatever, then you only need three clips in the screen, obviously. But I have five clips on the screen at once because I have five different glosses. So yeah, obviously, you know, you just adjust all these things that I'm telling you to, you know, your products. So here's a chocolate one and boom, it should look like that. But you see how it's lagging? I don't know why it's lagging like that. But obviously, you know, if you have trouble with it lagging like that, because it's doing it with me again, and I had trouble with it when I did mine. If it's giving you trouble like that, just do this in a different editing app, maybe a video leap or something like that, and just do this in there. Save it and then come back to CapCut and add it in. 
because it kept giving me this trouble as well but when I did it in a separate project you know it didn't lag but now it's lagging again yeah I don't know why it lags like that when you layer so many clips on top of each other like that but anyway so you just save this and then we're gonna go back to our original project and I'm gonna insert it right here so there it is all at once as you can see and then for this transition I think I can't remember the transition I used for this oh so when I transitioned from the glosses to the group shot of the glosses I think I did the down one yeah down and then here you would layer the clip of the group shot of your products the same way we did the cutouts here so let me show y'all how I filmed the group shot first and then we'll come back and do it so for the group shot i used this rotating display stand that my sister had um she got it off amazon so i used this but i just put a piece of white paper over it to help it blend with the background um just to you know cut down on the amount of editing i had to do so yeah and i just cut a circle out you know so the thing could obviously spin um and then i just used obviously you know this part needs to sit up so i just used some jenga blocks <laughs> literally jenga blocks and just stack them until it was the height of the display stand so the paper would stay level with the stand all the way around so that's what i did you know gotta get innovative you know do what you gotta do try and back it up all the way against the backdrop like that and i just put my products here like that and then you just turn it on up under here you can turn it clockwise or counterclockwise and again i filmed this in slow-mo so we're in slow-mo and just turn the stand on so let me do that and it spins. So I just recorded it like that in slow-mo. Again, in slow-mo. That is how I did this part. Now let's edit this into the video. Last shot, y'all, last shot. Whew. But we made it, we made it. I don't know why I didn't think to use the display stand when I did the individual glosses. I'm pretty sure that would've worked as well. I think it's cause I wanted it to be slightly slanted, but then obviously when I edited it, you know, like I was saying, you can tilt it like tilt the image if you need to, if you want to like slant it. But I really probably could have used that for the individual glosses. But I had already recorded all of it before I, you know, figured out the whole editing thing. So, you know, it was too late for me to try and go back and do that anyway. I already recorded all the glosses on the wooden spoon. So, but anyway, so let me show y'all how to edit that. Like I said, you're gonna layer it on top of the clip with all of your fruit tosses. And you're gonna cut it out the same way that we did the individual glosses so it didn't matter about you know the table and everything showing in the background because I just cropped it out anyway because we're just gonna be cutting out the background so it didn't really matter but yeah I just like to speed it up so I don't have so many seconds to edit so I'm just gonna speed it up then you know again go to cut out customize cut out and cut out the glosses and again you'll have to play with it to get it you know perfect really okay see I overlined a little bit too much on the bottom corners looks like so i'm gonna go back and fix that i'm doing the same thing as before by the way with the overlining okay let's see if that worked okay so it did work up to this point i think is where it completely corrected so i'm gonna split right here and delete everything before that okay that's perfect so literally just like that and then i'm just gonna slow it back down to make it the length of this clip obviously and i can trim it down and of course you can make this big or small and again I'm gonna adjust the lighting on this so turn up the brightness sharpen a hundred saturation of course contrast a little bit highlights that's fine right there shadows I don't really have much to do with that and there it is now I'm gonna cut this down to where obviously you see where those first two clips went out because when I recorded those those were shorter the toss was shorter than the other clips so I'm just gonna stop it where it cuts out right there so I'm gonna drag that down and see it removed my transition again why does it do that so put that back in there the down transition and then for this so when the group shot of the glosses come in I did animation and I used swing bottom is the one that I used. So like that, and it should look like this when it comes in. And then for the zoom in on 
the pink so i clicked on the overlay clip and i hit this diamond right here that's got the plus that's the keyframe button it's right there to the right of the play button so i hit that and then all the way at the end i added another one because this is where i want the zoom to start so for the first one is where i want the zoom to start and then the second one is i'm zooming in to where I want it to end. So highlight that one, highlight the second keyframe, then go to edit and then just zoom in to where you want it to zoom to. So I, I let it zoom in on my middle one since obviously that's in the center and just zoom in like that. And then it should look like this. Zooms in and then you can add your logo or whatever. And the reason I picked to zoom in on the pink part of my tube is because my logo colors and my brand colors are pink and white. So when it's zoomed in on the pink, then my logo just comes up. So it just kind of all flows together, you know what I mean? So yeah, and then I actually split this, like the end of that clip to where it's zoomed in all the way on the cap on my lip gloss tube. And I duplicated that and moved it up on the main track. So just scroll right here and hit main track. It'll move it up there. And that way I can add my um, logo over it. And just to make this clip last longer as well, I just hit, uh, go all the way down here and hit freeze. And you can obviously drag out how long you want it to freeze for right there. And then I just insert my logo, transparent version of my logo. And I made it as big as I wanted it. And then of course you want to add the animation in for this as well. You hit animation in, and then you can just find one of these zoom ones, just the regular zoom in. And I dragged it all the way to the three second mark. So it will last the whole time. And then zoom in, enter my logo, and then you would add, you know, your launch date or whatever. That's what I added to the end of mine. And then you can obviously just trim everything else up to here because you know, you don't need any of that anymore. And this should be your final product once you've added in all your products. Obviously I only demonstrated one, but once you add in all your other ones, this should be your finished result. Whew, that was a lot. That was a lot of talking. That was a lot of explaining. Hopefully I explained it pretty well. Hopefully it made sense. I don't know if it made any sense at all, but like I said, if y'all have any questions or I didn't explain something very well, feel free to ask in the comments. And yeah, just to go over again, the questions that I already answered on TikTok, but if you didn't see it, I'm gonna answer it here. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. That's the type of phone I have. I edited everything on my phone. I do have a camera. Obviously I'm filming on my camera. This is my phone right here. Um, I'm just not as comfortable with it and I'm more comfortable using my phone. I know how to work my phone a little better than my camera. So that's why I use my phone. But yeah, I did everything on my phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I edited everything in CapCut. My logo, I got on Fiverr. The way I found the girl, and I put that in the TikTok as well. So you can just go to it and see, screenshot the person's profile that did mine. But I just typed in like minimalist luxury logo and that's how I found her. You just type in like, you know, basically, I guess the aesthetic of your brand and people will come up that do those types of logos. So I wanted like a minimalist luxury type of look. So that's why I just typed in minimalist luxury logo and I found her. So that's who did my logo. What else did y'all ask? I think that's everything that everyone asked. So hopefully I cleared everything up for y'all. Hopefully y'all be able to do this yourselves. Hopefully I explained it well enough for y'all to do it. Hopefully y'all got the gist of everything. If you do try it out, please tag me. I would love to see y'all's recreations of it or just your own version of your commercials. If you were just inspired to do your own commercial for my video, even if it's not the same type of commercial that I did. I would still love to see it. So tag me and y'all so I can see them and repost them. And yeah, that is it for this in-depth tutorial on my viral commercial. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And again, thank y'all so much for the love on that video and for your orders. Keep them coming in. I got a couple just a few minutes ago, so keep them coming. Hopefully, y'all continue to support. I would really love if y'all did. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Follow my business page on Instagram. All of that is linked below. Stay a while, you know? Like I said, I have a lot to offer. So make sure your post notifications are on, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!